Ninja Kamui had the most deserved crash out of all time. I said it once, and I'ma say it again. Losing a bad bitch is a canon event, but losing her in the way my man's right here did, bro had every right to tweak out. And I know, I'm probably a little late in the Ninja Kamui, but guess what? We do not care. But y'all, I'm not even finna waste too much time with the intro. This anime is straight gas. So let's get into it. Alright, so we start off on the subway, and my man's right here is just vibing out. He's speeding the right ball is in on my coochie. He touching the middle of your coochie. Huh? Oh, fuck. They're after me. I don't think I'll die, but if I do, I gotta get home and destroy my hard drives first. 14 terabytes of big booty BBLs, pogs, and hentai. Oh god, if that gets out, I'm ruined! So bro's over here sweating like a fat kid at recess, then the very next second, he in the street doing the digital dash giving Cat Williams a run for his money until... Ah, jeez. I'm surrounded. Okay, come on, come on guys, like... We don't even have to do this. I just want to go home so I can play Jiggle Fit 6 a video game. I'll even let you guys get a turn. Like, I have all the mods. You can do whatever you want. No, nigga! Hello, fuck, nigga! Bro, oh my god. Like, I thought this old Eagles MC Square looking ass nigga was just a regular civilian, but bro, he really out here squabbling, catching more bodies than the GTA stripper. And these ninjas up top ain't want to get in the mix after seeing what's happening on the ground. So they try to snipe him from range with needles, but. Bro, he caught these needles in the most light-skinned way possible and then hit these boys with a mean Uno reverse. And it looked like he good, like he finna get loose, but then out of nowhere he gets a blade shoved down his throat. Then immediately after, these two ninjas sneak him with this two-piece Popeye's combo. And then he just start getting choked out by Spider-Man. I am Paul Mardim Atreides, Duke of Arrakis! El Ratio young boy better, suck your mother. Bro, Bob Marley did not have to violate this man like that. And that wasn't even the craziest part, like right after he took an IG pic to post for his ops. That's tough! So now we cut over to Farming Simulator 3, where my man is working in a cornfield, living a dream. He got a baddy wife and even a kid. Life is good, <laughs> you know what I mean? So after dinner, they just chilling in the house watching the news. Attention, breaking news, this just in. Tonight, there has been another victim claimed in the latest string of murders happening around the country. Authorities have found this man's head social distance from his body in the middle of an alley just outside of Oblock. The victim cannot be identified at this time, but authorities have reportedly found 14 terabytes of big booty BBLs, pogs, and hentai on his hard drive. <laughs> How embarrassing. And as the kids say, wouldn't let that shit happen to me. Now over to gym with sports. You don't think that could be them, do you? No, of course not. The organization could never find us out here. We're safe, honey. Yeah. I so we fast forward to a random night where they just chilling in bed, but they hear a noise, so bro goes downstairs to check it out. And everything looks smooth until he notices that all the windows are bloodshot red. <laughs> Tell the <old> fuck nigga! <laughs> You're too slow! Bro, you know what? At this point, I'm done thinking people in this show is regular civilians. Cause when did this corn-fed farm boy get karate lessons from Mr. Miyagi? He is saucing these boys, OMG! Bro really out here going stupid, putting belt to ass until he hears his son cry out to him from upstairs. Daddy, help! <gasps> oh fuck no! Not my boy! <laughs> Don't worry son, I'm coming! Face clan! Yeah. Stupid mother already shoot me with shit. Wait, what am I hearing right now? What in tarnation? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. So Broski makes his way up the stairs to his wife and kid, only to see his bedroom door open and completely filled with red light. And apparently, his wife is certified. Like, she liked that. Cause tell me why she got hella NPC ninjas laid out sleeping like his nap time in kindergarten. But even though that wasn't enough, cause Bob Marley, this crew is already posted up in their bedroom, just standing over their bodies hitting the most devious smile. And at this point, he gone knows he's cooked. Bro can't do nothing but watch. Hey, he gone. Look between the K and the semicolon on your keyboard. Hmm? What happened? to his accent between the K and semi-colon. No! Go ahead, hold this L, pussy. Suck your mother. Goes bad, 
So not only did this man lose his entire family in a matter of seconds, but y'all remember that ninja he threw across the country earlier? Well, bro got his leg back by hitting him with a mean back shot, no diddy, ending his life. Air quotes around ending, cause this is when his smooth brain chat GPT bot behavior from the ops kick in. So Bob Marley goes to check his vitals to make sure they actually sent this man to go hoop with Kobe. Stays there for like two seconds and was just like, yeah, we got him. Huh? And this is where I just get confused. Bro, y'all literally control all deleted the first dude's hand from the rest of his body, then took a pic to verify, and he was just a no-name NPC. We find out later that he got was one of the strongest ninjas in the org, literally a part of the big three, and y'all lazily check his body to confirm the kill? See, this is what pissed me off about villains sometimes. Like, keep that same energy! And villains be having the nerve to wonder how they ops be spinning back. Didn't Thanos teach us this same lesson in 2018? You should have gone for the head. Fast forward a little bit, bro basically comes back from the dead in the hospital morgue and he's tweaking. They get him to a bed where he finally wakes up for real and- Oh my god! Hurry! Get the doctor! He's awake! He's awake! Sir, calm down. Just listen to me. You need to breathe. Just breathe. What do you mean breathe, breathe? Don't tell me to breathe. I can't be- Yo, bring me a shot. Bring me a shot. So the FBI is wondering how just a regular civilian was able to survive a mass murder with ninjas and come back to life like Jesus. So they sent two agents to keep an eye out on Hegan. This is when we get introduced to the boy, Mike Morris and Emma. Oh my gosh, she's so bad, bruh. That is the goddamn problem. Niggas is horny. So this absolute baddie and my guy Mike get assigned to tell Hegan to find out what's really going on. And at first, it's not much. Later that night, dogs in a wheelchair on the rooftop just staring out into the horizon. Like bro's trying to be misunderstood so bad. Deep in thought, fighting his demons, singing along the X. Then he just starts having flashbacks about his family, making himself even more emo. So bro pulls a needle out of his wrist and just stabs himself. Whole body's tweaking like he's possessed by a crash out demon. And I'm just like, oh fuck. Is this his 13th reason why? Really thought we was gonna have to start playing a logic song for bro. But it turns out the ops just pulled up in full force to finish the job. So the ops sent even more NPC ninjas Hegon's way. And they on the rooftop trying to get busy, but they ain't having no type of luck. Cause Hegon's just bopping these boys like Instagram thighs. Body count getting dangerously high. Like bros being the Timmy Tryhard of all Timmy Tryhards right now. Then Hegon just hits a crash dummy no jutsu and uses his musty ass breath to create a smoke screen. And legit turned into a human guillotine beheading all these ninjas at once. Hey, I'm sorry. Quick sidebar. Cause somebody gotta say it. These NPC ninjas is sorry as hell. They lucky fan dude won't let me bet on on their ass cause trust I'm taking all unders oh my gosh these niggas are OD crashing out no baby Kia get the fuck out of here baby 27 days nigga 27 nights so he goes on the rooftop and this man has turned into a literal demon legit walking these boys down working everybody until he launches the sword into the elevator control panel breaking it so y'all really want next I'm with this warning I was one of the coldest ninjas in the village I promise y'all don't smoke <laughs> And when was that? 20 years ago? <laughs> nah, man, we're done with the 90s. And hearing this guy, he gone activated. My man's turned into a Beyblade to block all these shuriken, and then use his pipe to shish kebab and pile drive all these niggas into the elevator. What did he say? Wait, 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 hold on, nah, 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 nah. That sentence was crazy. Pause. Alright, but back to the fight. All I'ma say is, Hegon must have been trying to compete with Captain America for best elevator fight scene or something, cause this is insane. He caught enough bodies in here alone to call in an advanced UAV. Hmm, what do you think's taking beta squad so long? I don't know, man, but they need to hurry up, cause I'm getting hungry. We're cooked. And I don't even gotta tell y'all, these boys got packed up off screen with the quickness. Hegon got they reboot cars laying around everywhere. So after running through waves of NPC ninjas like he was playing Kai Zombies, Hegon finally got to run on once with Bob Marley. And Bob Marley tried talking to him, but just like most of Ben Simmons' basketball career, Hegon did not come to play. Bro turned into Ken Carson, blitzed this man, and started hitting hardcore parkour on his ass. Hey, me, don't do and the fight looked pretty even until he got hit a crash dummy no jutsu double it. penetration and from there he got turned this man into school lunch because bob marley was number free eats got to tweaking out on this man bruh god fuck him up i'ma do my stuff how did you know where to find us how did you know it was me first of all happy international women's day 
must think I'm one of them sucker white boys, you fucking goofy ass nigga. As y'all can see, Bob Marley wasn't taking dog seriously at all, so he gonna just remove the cloaking device to reveal his actual face, and this has him shook. Bro, tell me why this man transformed from a blonde haired blue eyed Goldilocks into a whole Giga Chad. So he gonna just starts walking them down, and he's slowly coming to the realization that he finna be on stage with Pop Smoke and Juice World real soon. Hey, bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet! Nah, go play with Diddy, nigga, not me. So we find out later that this wasn't the end of it. It's a whole ninja organization out there and he guys trying to get it back in blood for what they did to his family. So he goes back to his house, gets suited up like he's Batman, burns down the crib and begins his revenge tour. So the reason that the organization is after he gone and the dude from the beginning is cause they all defected from ninja society cause they wanted to live normal lives. But the organization was just like, nah, if we locked in, ain't no switching up. The only way you leaving the organization is in a body bag. So fast forward a little bit, he gone still on a hunt for his ops while visiting all the usual spots. But just like me, and Tyler's DMs, he came up empty. So one night, he just chilling in his bar when his cop just starts pressing him for his license for no reason. But he guys just ignoring this Paul Blart mall cop ass nigga, and he don't like that. Hey boy, you deaf or something? I said show me your license and registration right now. Nah, I'ma do my own thing. Oh, so you think you can ignore me, boy? Stupid. <laughs> Bro, he got really turned this man's arm into an Arby's curly fry and had him laid out like a picnic blanket in a matter of milliseconds. So the other cop saw this and tried to stand on business, but he didn't know who he was fucking with. He got was just like, we he stupid. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Up, yip, yip. That brother is floating in the air. Face ass. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, this has gotta be one of the meanest pump fakes I've seen. Y'all, if he gone is doing that off no contact, just imagine what would have happened if he chose to actually rock his shit. So after this, he gonna realize he had no leads on the organization. So he decides to hit up Mike and they end up linking at this Chinese restaurant. And these boys wasn't even there for two minutes when Mike started displaying John Morant tendencies and up the blick. Drop to your knees right now. I don't want you using no hands. Put your hands behind your head. I'm taking you in. Uh, pause. But he gone's completely unfazed. He's just like, do my eyes like deceive me? Like, relax. Bro. Or is this a naysayer telling me what you do? And Mike's interrogation ain't going to plan because they keep getting interrupted by DoorDash drivers picking up orders. Alza Eats here, here for a pickup? Who in their right mind is ordering this nasty ass food? Oh, here it is. Got it. Thanks. What the fuck? All right, now that he's gone, you think shit's sweet, huh? Now we can do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. Now I'm not gonna tell you again. I'm putting you in submission. Now get down on them knees and let me cuff you. Oh, nigga, you gay. <laughs> Man, what the f Order's on the table. Just grab it and go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Huh? So it turns out, this was actually an assassin sent by the organization to murk Hegon, and bro pulled up on some wicked timing rocking twin sights. The impact from the first clash alone knocked off his hood and mask, and Mike just peeped the game like, Who the fuck is this nigga, bro? So Hegon just got to be in a whole tryhard, and these boys full on squabbling inside the Chinese restaurant wrecking havoc. He pulled out his blade, and with one swing, he knocked this nigga so far back, he started hitting Simone Biles backflips midair. And Mike can't even begin to comprehend what's going on. He's still clutching Glockiana talking about some, Freeze! Both of you! Don't move! Really, nigga? Yeah. I'm starting to get convinced that this nigga's school bus had an elevator on it. Because this is peak Hall of Fame short bus activity. Like, bro, these niggas just hit seven of the most humanly impossible physical feats of all time in less than three seconds right in front of you. I promise you, they is not worried about no little side piece game. Somebody might need to airdrop this nigga some IQ points. Compared to what they got, you might as well be holding a Nerf gun, bro. Like, just sit this one out. Trust me. So he got an assassin still going crazy. They got me feeling like a Dragon Ball Z side character because my eyes cannot keep up with their movements. Then he gone turns into Doc Ock by summoning zombies from hell using Crash Dummy no Jutsu and gets to blitzing the fuck out of bro. So he catches this man lacking and got him pinned to the wall movie style, but out of nowhere, bro was just like, nah, ain't no fair fights. We jump on air set and spawns in a whole shadow clone and now it's a 2v1. He gonna gotta be extra careful because now he getting hit from both sides like any girl with a link tree in an insta bio. Bruh, look at this dude. Move nigga! <laughs> Y'all, I've come to the realization that this man might have a deeper bag than Kyrie. Cause tell me why this man is wielding flaming fire swords. Bro wanna be Tanjiro so bad. Just dodging, weaving, and going crazy. Bro, Slobo can't even do this justice. Fire style, fireball jutsu. 
In that last attack, got these boys crispier than a Popeye's chicken sandwich. And apparently, he got Fireball Jutsu came with the flashbang pre installed. Cause bro is lost. Word to Chris Smooth. Somebody get this man the map. Then he got absolutely peace control this man. One nothing he can do. Okay, I got one question, bro. Who the fuck are you? My fault, bro. It's me from the hospital. Look, what the fuck? Wait, can you transform into Sydney Sweeney? Yeah. Wait, what about Tyler? Ice Spice? Okay, okay. Violet Myers. <sighs> yes. Oh my god. You still got my card, right? I'm gonna need you to put them uh special talents you got to work later if you catch my trip. Huh? Bro, I don't even know who these people are. But not even a minute after he got packed the assassin, even more goons showed up to the Chinese spot and got to airing that bitch out like Febreze. But luckily for Mike and he gone, these boys got that stormtrooper aim and missed every shot like playing Clay Thompson. Hey, bro, they stopped shooting. You think we good? Oh shit, nigga, run! So of course they both survived the explosion, but am I the only one mad that Unk Spot just got completely nuked? He finna come back to the restaurant and fall to his knees. Insurance claim finna be high as hell. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. So Hegon couldn't really get no information from the meetup like he wanted to, but he did end up figuring out that Alza has to have some sort of connection with the organization. Cause this wannabe Jeff Bezos looking ass nigga conveniently popped up on the screen making an announcement. Y'all, am I tripping? Or do he got a really smackable face? I don't know, maybe I'm tweaking. But now that Hegon has Alza on his list, y'all already know, more treacherous activities are on the way. But hey, as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, hit that sub button for me, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. If y'all was fucking with this and want to see some more Ninja Kamui, just let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate the support on the channel recently. The Discord link is down in the description, so join up. So, um, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Be smooth.